Hello, I'm Beth the Builder, and this week we fix a broken downspout. Safety first, don't climb around on ladders without a helper because the majority of household like accidents are from people climbing around on ladders and their roofs. So be smart, don't be a dummy. So the few things I needed for this project were a drill, some small screws, and then just some new downspout brackets that you can get at your hardware store for like a dollar each or something. So I ended up buying a extender piece for my downspout because I thought the problem was that the elbow at the top of the roof had lost a piece of downspout and that it wasn't then there wasn't enough length to get that curve close enough to the house so the downspout could actually be attached to the house. This was not the case. It had actually, the elbow at top, up top had actually lost a bunch of screws. So that along with all of the brackets on this downspout were broken. So the upper gutter and that little elbow piece, like there was like one screw that was holding all the weight of this like 20 foot downspout. But it was really hard to tell from the ground because my gutters and all of this are like 20 some feet off the ground. So just standing there, like it was when I was looking at this project of what I needed to get to fix it, it was really hard to know what was really the problem. And I did mess with it and I was like, okay, I think that's the issue that like they're, they just installed this downspout wrong. So there's quite a big curve to this elbow to get it close enough to the house so that the downspout can actually be attached with brackets. So what was happening was then the whole downspout was pulling away from the house because it's all this weight is on this elbow that, that is really only being held together with like one little screw and it was just creating a big problem. But I definitely overcomplicated this because I really thought that I needed a downspout extender and I bought it and I cut it and I had it all set up and then I was like going to fix the brackets and I was like, this is not the problem because now my, my downspout is too long and it's touching the ground and then I can't attach the rest of the downspout that then gets water away from the house. All right, so what I actually need to do is I reattached the upper elbow to my downspout. I removed all the old brackets because they were janky as fuck and not doing their job at all. They were just like janky old pieces of tin, it looked like somebody had kind of like manufactured some brackets for this, which did not work, um, were not really installed very well. And I think there was only two of them for the whole thing. So I installed three and I might get a fourth, but I think three will do it. And then the brackets for the downspout also come in different sizes. So you just need to know the width of the downspouts you have so that they fit correctly into the brackets. And I just used small screws to attach the new brackets to the sides of my downspout. You, If you have a pop rivet gun, use that because it's definitely gonna be easier.
So I definitely overcomplicated this. Um, just standing on the ground trying to see what the problem was, 20 feet in the air, I just didn't know exactly. I was kind of guessing and I thought I knew, but I didn't. So yeah, it was a really simple fix, honestly. I definitely overthought it, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to overthink something then to get to the more simple solution. So yeah, put some screws in my upper elbow, reattached the downspout, installed new brackets, done and done. honest home repair videos, subscribe, like, or don't. That's fine. I have links in the description below of where you can find more of me. I have new videos every Friday, and thanks for watching!